Okay, welcome you to, to join today's section. And this is Dr. Ng, uh, the skim leaders of Bachelor of, Bachelor of Engineering, skim in aviation engineering. For today's sharing, I'm going to give you in details and also the information about our program, aviation engineering. Okay, we will now start. So our program is mainly uh, focusing on the integrations of professional academic education and also the training. So that means our program try to integrate the uh, integrated degrees in science and engineering and also with the professional license training. So uh, but for the professional license training, this is uh, an option to the students. So if you want to join, then uh, it, it would be definitely fine. But if not, if you would like to mainly focus on uh, uh, study in aviation engineering only, it's still fine. OK, so in our program, we're the, uh, we provide backgrounds of engineering scheme in aviation engineering. In the first two years, year one and year two, we'll, we'll say it's like a common year, common year of study. And in your year two, your uh, students are going to select and to determine their final choices, whether they want to opt for the awards for graduations, Bachelor of Engineering Horns in Aviation Engineering, or awards for graduations, Bachelor of Engineering Horns in Air Transport Engineering. So I will give you in detail what are the differences between the two. OK, so here shows you uh, the details. OK, our program, the program, the program uh, the code is JS3140. And the right hand side shows you in, uh, the study path of our program. In a backdrop engineering scheme in aviation engineering, year one will equip you the basic mathematics of physics fundamentals and also the basic knowledges of aircraft and aviation systems. And also we provide several hands-on experience in engineering. And in year two, you will learn the basics of the uh, or the fundamental knowledge of the mechanical, electrical, computers, engineering. Then uh, you're uh, then you are going to select what you want to go for hardcore aviation engineering. If so, then you wish to you may want to go for it. Bachelor of Engineering in Aviation Engineering, what we call AD. And if you want to focus on focusing on the software aviation engineering, then you may want to choose air transport engineering, uh, what we call ATE. And now the two programs allow the, uh, to admit senior year intake students. So that means if you're a, a sole degree holder or high degree holder, you can directly opt for AE or ATE before the program registrations. OK, so about the uh, I think one also another concern is uh, you may want to know how about the quota between the two program in uh, no matter in senior year intake or in uh, or you come from come from year one. At the moment, we allow students freely to choose and enroll on any award without being subject to further assessments. So this is uh, you have you can have your own choice. If you want to go for hardcore engineering, aviation engineering, then you can select AE. If not, uh, or if you want to go for a soft core, soft core one, then you can select ATE. We did not set any threshold, uh, no quota limit. We allow our students choose uh, freely choose uh, one of the awards, AE or ATE. And under the scheme arrangement. Okay, so here shows you the uh, the uh, the are uh, the program leaders, faculty program leaders. Um, after you enroll our program, you will know them uh, later on. Okay, and I'm the scheme leader, Dr. Ng. Okay, for the uh, for our program, well, we we allow Jupas, one Jupas, Chinese mainland JGG and international applicants. And so for Jupiter and entry eligibilities, we follow the general rules. OK, so and uh, if you need to get at least level three in English and Chinese languages and also level two in mathematics and uh, mathematics. And also uh, we also count, uh, count the M1 or M2 as an uh, as a weighted bonus. OK, so uh, you can follow the guidelines uh, on a Jupus. 
And for senior year intake, uh, we follow the same uh, gen university general entry requirements, okay? AD or high uh, holder. And also, I'm not going to too details, but in our program, we can see the best five way that Hong Kong DXC score. And these are the uh, these are the subject that is with a higher weighting. So for the further information, I would like uh, I would like to draw your attention, and you can go for this link uh, to know more about the entry requirements and subject weighting details. Okay, these are the official doc uh, informations. You can go for that path. So uh, our programs uh, include. Uh, 144 credit requirements. There are several general education discipline specific subjects and also training credits. So uh, what you will know after the end of programs, who so here briefly shows you the details of the GD and WIEs. Okay. So this is our, our, the, the, the logics of our program design. In the first two years, we want to what we want our students mainly focus on the academic and the industrial trainings, and then uh, in year three and four, uh, you can select uh, the research and development projects and also which area they would like to focus on. At the same time, students can also enroll for one professional license training. I'll give you detail later on. Okay, so. Uh, I mentioned that AE is hardcore en aviation engineering and ATE is software aviation engineering. So what are the differences? I will let you know now. For hardcore aviation engineering, that is related to aeronautical engineering. So I give you detail. We'll learn if you if you opt for this uh, award for graduations. Okay, so one is uh no matter you opt for AE or ATE, you still need to uh, you have a you still need to take the subjects uh, freshman seminars for engineer. Learn the basic fundamentals of aerono aerodynamics. So how would we find how to lift up the uh, this object? It could be a flight. It could be also like a a uh, racing car or this type of um object. So you will learn this type of uh, experience of the whole photograph design in this freshman seminar to give you some basic ideas of what is aeronautical engineering. And second, another, uh, second is another important uh, topic is aerodynamics. Uh, is, I think you have this idea of how to fly and how to take off. Uh, this is based on the design of the wing. Aerodynamics. Okay, so another part is uh, the aircraft structure and aircraft design. That is how we select the proper materials and also the uh, aircraft design that it uh, make the flight uh, could be much more lighter. But we also compel with the safety. Third one is uh, airplane performance and flight mechanics. So uh, we would, in our courses, we will consider the safe aviation one as the uh, uh, as core uh, as part of the courses in these subjects. But we also you also learn different types of uh, motion aircraft um, or like UAV mechanics in other courses. Okay, so another important element is about the gas turbine engines. This provide the uh, the flux uh, to a flux. Uh, to uh, to exercise the flight operations. Okay, this is about aeronautical engineering. And about is uh, air transport engineering. That is related to aviation and air transport engineering. So the first element is the avionic systems. So as a pilot, uh, what for a pilot, he or she need to rely on this avionic system and also different types of uh, indicator to help uh, to help them to make uh, daily decisions. So like altitudes, true airspeed, and also the uh, also several navigation aid. These are going to support the pilot operations. And our part is the human factor engineering, data analytics, and artificial intelligence. So in a, in our program, we also equip you the basic uh, the fundamental knowledge in human in human factor and economics. How we design the procedures 
how it design it say some that can fit for the fit for the users. It could be for the pilot. It could be for the air transport, uh, air traffic control officers. So we use different types of neuro, uh, neuropsychological devices to equip you this kind of knowledge. And third one is about your operational side. We'll equip you the basic knowledge of the operation research and data driven modeling. Teach you how to do the flight plannings, airline schedules, uh, arrive runway scheduling and arrival departure procedures. Uh, and you'll also learn uh, how does it link up with the instructional landing decision aid as well. And the fourth part is the uh, artificial intelligence. This is, I think most of you know what is uh, B7 free zero maps or the manufacturing categorization augmentation system. This is going to uh, change the, uh, to help adjust the, uh, the heads of, uh, of, this, uh, of this flight. And also we can see so many applications like in object detection, surface robots, and also the AI in MRO, maintenance routing, uh, maintenance are routing optimizations. Okay, the last but the last one is the air roughness and aviation safety. So there are several laws. How you continue uh, the continuities of air roughness certificates, how to verify the, the procedures, you'll learn this knowledge as well in our in our program in, in AT as well. Okay, so here is short videos of Okay, so uh, we, uh, so I think we have limited time, so I'm trying to go through all the details here. Other than the two AE, uh, AE and AT awards, we also have five stream of electives. So if you want to go further to learn more about aeronautical engineering, then you can select uh, select four, four subject from this uh, from this room. We we'll also provide you the knowledge in UAS, Amanda Autonomous Systems, uh, Aircraft Maintenance Engineering, Aviation Surface Engineering, and Pilot Ground Theory. But uh, it's fine if you want to select a different elective in different stream. So we allow students to do that uh, to tailor their their own choices. And also, I'm now going to give you the other learning, teaching and learning experience in poly use. I, I will just quickly go through. And we have one uh, training scheme that is uh, aircraft maintenance engineer, okay, AME schemes that is approved by the, uh, we received approval as a uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong Air 147 training institutions. And we provide these uh, training models and students have chances to, uh, to learn to do the hands-on experience and equip them with the, with the knowledge in the maintenance industry. Other than that, we also encourage students uh, to practice their uh, skills in their final year projects. This is one of the UAV projects developed by students, including object collection avoidance or even uh, multi-UAV collection avoidance. So let me just quickly go through and let you know what is details here. Okay, so multi UAV collision avoidance or object avoidance. These are developed by students. At the same time, we also emphasize our student uh, design skills. So we are lot, we have a team called AIAA DBF team, design, build and flight teams. And students group together to design a flight. Uh, a small aircraft to participate this uh, competition in the US. Okay, so I just give you a short video to show what I, what they did in this project last year. And the main from scratch to the uh, to the final product. The start from the AutoCAD, uh, the material designs and build display, and also designing control systems. Okay, so and these are what they what do, uh, this are uh, the site testing before they join the, uh, before they go for the competition. 
did so this really exciting moment because uh you have a chance to give a view even if by one year and also we have a a, a budget support to design and participate this event okay other than that we also emphasize students to to park in different types of industrial visits including hackle common city and cx gfs and also atc's uh air traffic control center in ahk okay here's the examples and also we all we hope our students go for exchange and hopefully if you can get a good job offer the students uh he got a one year sandwich and go work at that with a ball in and go for different country uh as a sandwich so uh in this sandwich program and then he come back and join programs so given this opportunity he equips so many types of experience before he graduates and here's our other students who are also working in different co uh, different companies here okay heckle internships and also uh, participate in different types of award, HDID, and also exchange. So in our program, we have a, uh, a very high ratio of international students, and we also emphasize uh, student design trainings, and also with the good support of the industrial visits. So, and here's our examples of our graduates. So we have students go, uh, working in as a MT in Johnny Navigation Service Engineer Groups, and also student as uh, as a, a flight si a simulation support engineer CE, and also we have three students uh got the graduation engineering program and C uh, CX as well. So these are the good examples, and these two guys are uh, Vincent and Matthew. They also got uh, they also are part of the AIWA DBF team as well. So uh, we, our students all uh, have their good. Uh, they, they have much. They have sufficient training, and so they can compete for these different types of uh, this type of uh, job opportunity opportunity in the industry. If you want to go for research, or uh, you will also have different students go for a uh, study um, um, math of science, math and also and also the uh, PhD. And we have several students who received the, the Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Awards. And they all, some of them you know, also going to go for uh, the data analytics and also artificial intelligence and combined with aviation engineering as well. So these are the examples who will work for a engineering technology and resource center. So this is all about our sh sharing of our program. So if you have any questions, you will feel free to send us an email. So you can reach my email, uh, employee AE or you can send you your questions to the general uh, inquiry aae.info at polyoedu.hk. Okay, that's all for all my sharing. Thank you so much.